The sedate, conservative facade of a mansion. Behind these walls is the unlikely, almost ironic location for some of the most radical art shows that this country ever saw. For a period of 10 years after World War II, the Art Committee of Adelaide House staged at least 69 art exhibits, including one of the most famous shows in Canadian art history, 1952's Canadian Abstract Exhibition. While this legendary show is still widely discussed, its original location, Oshawa's Adelaide House Art Gallery, has become completely obscure, unknown, and unseen to the art world. Surprisingly, it's largely intact from its glory days as a key stop on the Southern Ontario Art Gallery circuit. As a part of the local YWCA, the Art Committee of Adelaide House was founded by two women, abstract painter Alexandra Luke and the art teacher Dorothy Van Leuven. In the mid-20th century, women curators in this country were rare. The co-founders brought a fresh, innovative perspective to the art exhibits that they created with their passion for the then-new concept of abstract painting. I'm your host, Daniel Farr. Today I've invited their protege, the last surviving member of the Art Committee of Adelaide House, and the last surviving artist in its most famous show, the Canadian Abstract Exhibition, to return here for the first time in over 60 years. At age 91, Ronald Malcolm Lambert, one of Canada's first post-war abstract painters, is now staging one of the most surprising and creative comebacks ever in art history. Today he's going to share with us his first-hand story of the most important art exhibits held in these walls during his tenure on the Art Committee of Adelaide House. Welcome back to the Adelaide House, Mr. Lambert. Tell me, after 70 years, how does it feel to return? After 70 years, it seems like yesterday. It's wonderful. The first show that was hosted here was in January 1946. At that time, landscape painting was very popular in Canada. The show featured Alexandra Luke and Isabel McLaughlin. And today we have an example of Alexandra Luke's painting from that time. Mr. Lambert, is this typical of Alexandra Luke's painting in, during that period? Yes, it is a, a good example. Uh, I think there's a, a, an element of abstract even in this painting, and uh, that uh, I think you'll have to agree that is leaning towards the uh, what came later. So, Mr. Lambert, you're a protege of the YWCA, which owns the Adelaide House. And in 1947, they sponsored you to study art in the States with Hans Hoffman. In September 1947, you returned and were part of the group exhibit called Open House, which featured this large abstract painting. Can you tell me, what were you trying to accomplish with this piece? This piece uh, demonstrated uh, what we learned at Hoffman School that um, the first four uh, strokes of your composition are the edges of the painting itself before you started to paint. That a, uh, uh, demonstrates the push and pull of various colors at one against the other, and, uh, and yet uh, is contained within the picture frame itself. We have a couple photos of Hans Hoffman here, and we know that he was a great inspiration to Mr. Lambert and Alexandra Luke, and especially in their transition becoming abstract painters. Mr. Lambert, can you tell us some more about your experience with Mr. Hoffman? Well, Mr. Hoffman uh, did not speak English fluently, and, but, uh, and it's uh, to his credit that uh, he was the basis of all these art galleries that went on in this building uh, from a distance of uh, here to uh, Cape Cod and the base of all this good art that you see today. Here we have a photo of Alexandra Luke from that show in 1947 at the Adelaide House with one of her first abstract paintings at one of the first abstract exhibitions in Canada. And we have a photo of Mr. Lambert preparing for that very show. I understand, Mr. Lambert, that Alexandra Luke was a mentor to you and that you were a protege to her. And you both transitioned from the landscape style to this abstract painting together. 
Can you tell me more about what that was like and going on that journey with her? Um, we were both uh, overcome with the, uh, the transition from uh, too abstract that we uh, were exposed to with Hans Hoffman. Um, and uh, she uh, started th this painting in Provincetown. Uh, it was of a, 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 a still life that Hans Hoffman uh, set up in his garage for people uh, like us and we like to paint as well. And uh, this is her uh, uh, rendition, and it's probably the first uh, abstract that she has pa ever painted. Um, and she was a, a great friend, and we, we, we liked each other, and we, uh, we developed together. Mr. Lambert, we're looking at a sketch that you made of Alexandra Luke uh, from the early 1940s. Can you tell us some more about this? Yes, um, this is, uh, 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 we were, uh, I was a guest at their cottage in Muskoka, and uh, uh, we were setting up to do some painting, and uh, she, she is at this stage just laying out roughly where she was going to start. So I did this rough pencil thing of, uh, or charcoal actually, um, of her from behind. In January 1949, Mr. Lambert and Alexandra Luke had a show together here at the Adelaide House Art Gallery. And this is one of the pieces that was featured in that exhibit. Mr. Lambert, could you tell me what you were trying to accomplish in this piece? Well, th this is uh, an impression of push and pull as it uh, is demonstrated by a lot of fall colors. And uh, uh, this is a, uh, was a passion of mine at that time. I, I'm always uh, affected by the fall colors. They always amaze me. And this is the result of it. So this one is dated 1948, but we actually have another example from that time period dated 1949. And I understand that Alexandra Luke actually took this painting down to Hans Hoffman for a critique. Mr. Lambert, could you tell me some more about this one from 1949? Yeah, it's, uh, this is uh, uh, an impression of moonlight, believe it or not. And uh, this was a, a, a crisp fall day. Uh, and night at, uh, 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 north of Ottawa. And uh, this was my abstract um, impression of that, uh, that evening. In 1952, Mr. Lambert had a solo exhibition here at the Adelaide House Art Gallery. And this painting was featured in the exhibition. Mr. Lambert, can you tell us some more about this? Yes, this is one of the paintings of that era for me. I uh, particularly like this painting, and uh, for those days it was a fairly big painting, not like they are today. I, I do much bigger ones myself now. Now we have a newspaper clipping from the Oshawa newspaper at that time, which is speaking about your exhibition. Uh, what did it feel like to be in the newspaper, and what was that experience like? I was very young, and. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, familiar with all this publicity, but uh, it, I can remember those days with fondly. I was a lot younger and more active then. <laughs> Alexandra Luke was the chair of the Adelaide House Art Committee. Mr. Lambert is the last surviving member of that committee. In 1952, they staged their most ambitious exhibition, the Canadian Abstract Exhibition, here at the Adelaide House Art Gallery. That exhibition featured 26 painters, including Laura Harris, Jack Bush, William Ronald, and Harold Town. This painting was featured in that show. Mr. Lambert, can you tell us what you're trying to accomplish in this piece? 
Yes, this is a, a, an abstract, um, a, a, an abstract uh, landscape which I painted within five miles of my home, and uh, I it, it worked very well indeed. I, I was very proud of it. And it is a, a, a pure uh, abstract. But it's, uh, it's, it's push and pull very nicely. Thank you. Now those paintings were all held in this very room at the Adelaide House. And I'm trying to imagine what it would be like to be in this space of 26 abstract paintings. Could you tell us what that show was like? Well, the, uh, the whole evening was just electric. Uh, you could imagine uh, that many, uh, 26, um, abstract painters all mixed in one room and uh, and uh, it, it was a glorious feeling I'll tell you. Let's talk some more about that Canadian abstract exhibition from 1952. We have a couple of shots from the catalog here. You can see it was opened in Oshawa, the YWCA in October 1952. It was in this very building and many of the paintings were hung in this very room where we're standing right now. And as you can see, it says it was sponsored by the South Ontario Galleries. So this show actually toured through Ontario and into Quebec and Montreal, where it was exposed to a wide audience. And we have a photo at the top with Alexandra Luke and Mrs. Armstrong, uh, who was also a member of the Art Committee of Adelaide House. Mr. Lambert, could you tell us some more about this photo? Yes. These, uh, uh, this was a photo uh, that sort of represents the organization behind the um, Adelaide House itself. Um, Dorothy Van Leeuwen, who was uh, on that committee as well, uh, was my mentor and art teacher at OCBI. And uh, she was on that committee. And, did some of the hard work of uh, mounting the show, um, and uh, it was a, a, a glorious uh, opening and so on, and uh, uh, very much appreciated by all the artists and the people who came to view it. So the abstract work that you were doing was supported by some other people in Oshawa. And I'm looking at the, um, the exhibition inventory here and the different artists that were featured in this exhibit. And they really came from all across Canada. Leon Bellefleur, uh, the late great Oscar, Oscar Pahan, those from Hamilton, be interested to know that Hortense Gordon was part of this, and your classmate, the Hans Hoffman School in 47. See, we have Joe Plaskett, um, and Lionel Thomas, Harold Town. Can you tell me some more, what was it like to work with these artists and put this show together? What did that take? Well, it was, um, it, it, it was a bedroom, really, um, as you can imagine. <laughs> the abstract artists uh, trying to hang a show. Um, but uh, it all worked out very well. Um, and. Uh, Big, big occasion. In 1955, the last great abstract exhibition held here at the Adelaide House Art Gallery featured the Painters 11. The Painters 11 were co founded by our own Alexandra Luke and William Ronald, who brought with him fellow painters from the Abstracts at Home exhibition. This was their third show and their first one outside of Toronto. Mr. Lambert, who were the Painters 11? They were a group of 11 painters, as it, their name signifies. They uh, uh, banded together and produced uh, a, a strong showing for abstract expressionism and abstract uh, uh, generally. Uh, they included uh, some of the finest painters in Canada. Um, and they came here at the, um, uh, Alexander Luke's uh, organization and uh, uh, work in organizing it 
is to her credit. This painting is uh, one that I uh, acquired, and she gave it to me after that show. And uh, it's a, a wonderful little abstract sketch that, uh, as good as she's ever done, I believe. Mr. Lambert, if you were going to have an exhibition at the Adelaide House today, what kind of work would you show? Well, this is a, an example of how I'm painting now. There would be more, larger and smaller, very much like this, and simplified to, the, to a degree that um, I've not had before. I want to thank Mr. Lambert for joining us today here at the Adelaide House Art Gallery. It had been over 60 years since the last time he set foot here, and specifically in this room where his own paintings were hung. As a member of the Art Committee, he helped organize and support 69 different exhibitions. He exhibited here with some of Canada's greatest abstract painters, and even had solo exhibitions. So Mr. Lambert, thank you very much for returning here today and sharing your memories with us about the exhibitions and the paintings that were involved in the activity here at the Adelaide House. Thank you for having me. It brings back some great memories, and uh, thanks for having me back too. Thank you.